Hey, what's up? Uh, want a corn dog? So I had four eBay orders last night and three on Amazon that I'm pulling right now. A couple of them I was really surprised by actually are coming out of the shed. Let me see if I can find them here. All right, I sold these two orthopedic surgery drill bits. I think one of them was 20 and one of them was 30. I paid like a buck each for them at this random pick that I did at someone's storage unit. Uh, a person whose company cleans out like estates and stuff like that. I made a random connection with them at a yard sale and uh, just locking up my shed here. Yeah, picked these two things up because I saw they had pretty good comps uh, online and I was like, well, they sell very infrequently. So I'll just undercut and, you know, try to get them out. There were some that had sold for like 40 or 50, um, but I've been sitting on these for probably like since the summer. So I'm happy to get these out of here and I will go ahead and pull my other ones right now. All right, I sold this copy of Booger Man for the Super Nintendo for 30 bucks with free shipping. I was part of a big lot deal for my friend Kyle. And then I sold this 2DS, which has a pre-download of Mario Kart for 60 bucks, got it for about 30 at a pawn shop. So that's an all right deal. I have free shipping on it. So after everything, you know, I'll make 18 bucks or so. So not the best sale or not the best margins on that. I actually later today, I've got a whole bunch of other uh, handhelds that I previously had listed with a bunch of uh, like miscellaneous crap games that I thought would sell really well. I priced them pretty aggressively. They haven't sold yet, so I'm going to be migrating those over to Amazon since stuff has been selling so well on there. So it turns out there were only two uh, Amazon orders. One of them was a very good Game Boy Color and the other was my other normal Wii U. I still haven't sold my Zelda one, but on these two, I had them priced at 185 each, and I dropped the price by 20 bucks to 165, and one of them sold yesterday, one of them sold today. Um, I didn't film it all yesterday because it was kind of just a meh day. I was uh, doing a lot of budgeting and trying to get a bathtub fixed, and it just wasn't, wasn't really worth it. But anyway, I think the reason that these sold for uh, higher than like the buy box price, which I think was around like 145, is that I actually included Nintendo Land, which is not required. A lot of the listings actually say that they don't have it, um, but it is in the picture. So um, just a solid tip for you guys if you want your Wii U's to sell for a little bit more. Normally it's against Amazon's policies to include anything that the original listing does not have, but since this is actually in the picture of the uh, Wii U box on the listing, I think this is well within bounds for a little extra that you can include and can help you boost your sales a little bit. So time for a nice little packing montage. So the other part of what I wanted to get done today was this. This is a bundle of stuff that I picked up uh, just yesterday. I went out for um, just like one or two errands and I made one strategic pawn shop stop because I knew it would be able to get me enough inventory basically to get through the week. Um, I knew they had an excess of Wii's so I bought them all. I bought seven of them at 20 bucks a piece. Um, and I'm going to be going through that. We're going to play a little bit of what's in the Wii and just, you know, be pressing eject on all these things and hopefully getting some free game scores. But yeah, I'm not recommending that anybody go out and source right now. I'm doing as little of it as I possibly can, um, but I'm getting to the point where my options are a little bit limited. So um, also found this Switch, which was a great score. 
Um, it is missing one of the thumb pads there, so I'm gonna disclose that. It's got a little bit of scratching on the top of the screen, so that's also going in the description. But I picked it up for $225, which is a great deal. It doesn't have some of the accessories, but it has both Joy-Cons, the dock, the charger, and I've got an HDMI that I'll throw with it. I'm hoping to get over $400 for this fairly quickly. That's how much my last one sold for. This one's in a little bit worse shape, but um, yeah, we'll see what happens with that. And then also found another copy of Guitar Hero Live, which you guys probably saw. I just sold a, a ton of copies of so I'm actually gonna throw this one on Amazon and see what it does. And now it's time for everybody's new favorite segment, What's in the Wii. Got seven, yep, seven of them lined up right here, all ready to go. And we're gonna start off with number one. Nothing in that guy. All right, come on, no zonks, no zonks, here we go. Oh. Nothing in number two. All right, we got number three. Can I get a drum roll, please? All right, here we go. Number four, number four. We got something. What is it? Hey, there we go. Mario Galaxy 2. That is a pretty solid one to find and a darn good game, if you ask me. Number five, here we go. All right, lucky number six, am I right? We got something. Yes, we Sports, let's go, baby. That is going to make the bundle like, I don't know, that's gonna have like $50 or something to the bundle value, and these are pretty hard to find, so I am pretty stoked about this guy. And last but not least, number seven. We got something. Oh, it was in the wrong way. Let's take a look together. Escape the museum. Not what you wanna find, but I don't know, maybe it's worth something. I, I don't know if I've ever, actually ever found this game before. But hey, a copy of Wii Sports and Mario Galaxy 2 is not too shabby. So now that I've gotten these guys tested, my next thing on the agenda is actually going to be to make, um, create a batch for Amazon Merchant Fulfilled. Uh, so I told you guys the last video about all these games that I scammed from GameStop. Also going to be listing this guy, which, uh, where did I get this? can't remember where I got it, but it's been sitting around for a little bit and hasn't been listed, so gonna get this new 3DS XL listed as well as some of these Wiis, the Switches. I was actually reminded, I was just watching Chase. By the way, if you guys have somehow managed to stumble upon my channel but haven't found Chase after the right price, he's basically Caleb Ashton 2.0 in every possible way, so stop watching this right now and go uh, subscribe to his channel because he's awesome and he taught me most of what I know about flipping video games. But anyway, so I found this one Wii Sports that I'm gonna pair with a uh, with one of my Wiis. I can't remember, I'm not sure. They gave me basically, because I bought out all of their Wiis, all seven that they had, they gave me every accessory that they had. I'm not sure if I have seven Wiimotes or not. Um, but anyway, as I was watching Chase today, I was reminded Hey, you also can bundle these Wiis, which I've done before and I just forgot about, with Mario Kart. And I have a few Mario Karts up here. One, two, at least three of them, and an equal number of Wii wheels that I can throw in there as well, which is part of the listing. So that will definitely help on the value of those Wiis as well. So um, it's definitely going to be a task going through all of this, cleaning everything, because a lot of it is filthy and making sure that I have every accessory that I need to go with every Wii. If I don't, I've got a little box of Nintendo stuff over there. I think I should be able to make a solid number of complete bundles. Worst, worst case, I have one last listing that hasn't sold of, whoa, of Wii remotes. Uh, these are third party, so I'll have to disclose that. I normally don't ever do that with Wiis. But if I don't have enough first party ones, I probably will. And we'll just make it very clear in the description that they are third party. 
and uh, we'll go from there. But yeah, really excited to also get this guy listed. I think he's gonna sell really fast and we should hopefully have some solid orders to pull for tomorrow. So I got my Switch games from GameStop listed and also got all of these guys cleaned, tested, prepped, and ready to go and labeled in boxes. So feeling very productive, got six of them done. And uh, they're all labeled according to what they are because I put different descriptions for some of them. So like that's pretty standard Mario Kart Wii. Um, but this one I had to use a third party remote and nunchuck. Uh, so I have those all labeled so that I don't forget when somebody does order one, I can look at the description on Amazon and pick the right one to make sure that they're getting the one that they think they are. Had a couple of these, so I had three uh, Mario Kart bundles for the Wiis, two uh, Wii Sports bundles, and then one just plain old Wii, and then one that is still over there that I didn't have a sensor bar for, so I'm going to have to... I don't know, I guess just wait till I get one. I'm just going to sit on it until then. But I'm really happy to have six Wii listings going up today in addition to the other ones and feeling very productive about that. Well, that will pretty much do it for this one, guys. Thank you, as always, for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys on the flip.